Well, we're on the last little stretch. This is just a road from Clear Pond that's closed during the winter. The, this was my longest winter camp here in the Adirondacks. Uh, three nights, very successful. The new sleeping bags proved to be very toasty. The second night was, was pretty chilly and still stayed warm. The other two nights I was in uh, boxers and t-shirt and it was nice and toasty. Our uh, plan for the bushwhack to hit Colvin and Blake was somewhat unsuccessful. It was a lot of hard work through the bushwhack. The, but we can say that it was a, we covered the ground that we wanted to. We uh, used the map and compass and the topology to, to match what our actual plan was that we drew out on Caltapo. Uh, it was just proved to be too hard to get all the way there. We got very close to the west inlet. This was a case of lost and found on this trip. It started with my snowshoe being stuck underneath the ice after post holing through a creek. And we had to use the ice axe to find it. Luckily we found it. Then I realized I lost my pocket knife and we saw that hanging on a tree. Uh, the next loss was a pair of sunglasses that a branch knocked off of my pack. And I wish I would have gotten this on film. Uh, I could reach it with my, my hiking stick, but as soon as I did, it rolled right off the cliff. Then we realized I lost my nail gym bottle. Again, probably going through the heavy brush yesterday on the high peaks, uh, got knocked out somewhere when it was empty. The high peaks were amazing. Uh, we did Macomb first from Lillian Brook, Lean To. It was uh, a beautiful day. Got a cloud in the sky, great views. Got some great views uh, on Macomb. Kind of saw where we were bushwhacking. And then we went over to South Dix, which had a really interesting rock climb up. And we, again, had some fantastic views on South Dix. Then we headed over to Grace which had some exposed rock and we got some views of uh, Vermont and the greens. And we might have even been able to see the whites in New Hampshire from where we were. It was such a clear day. We saw a few mountain ranges in the distance. Then we worked our way back and hit Huff. And that one looked pretty daunting to begin with as we were approaching it. Uh, you, there's a big valley we had to go down and then uh, what was really, really cool about the hike was we just followed this ridge line, an exposed ridge line, right up to the summit. Now we could see that ridge line in the distance and it would have been pretty cool to have some like drone footage over the top of that because it was a, a neat climb to the top of Huff. And then we hiked out in the dark. All in all, the high peaks were a super, super success. We're maybe a mile from our car. It was a great weekend with my friend Tom. Had a lot of good conversations, a couple laughs, and I'm sure we'll be back here in probably a month to do something else. So if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys outside.